Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we've got a beer from Westerham Brewery and this is their Wally Winkers Death by Chocolate. Look at that can. Pretty cool. So it's a stout coming in at 4.5% ABV. I picked this up at the Fanit Easter Beer Festival in the Winter Gardens in Margate over the Easter kind of time, as I said, Easter beer festival. Um, so yeah, I've not had a beer from this brewery for a, oh, probably since my first few reviews of some of their ales that they've done. Um, so yeah, intrigued by this one. It looked really good when I, I saw it on their uh, local camera Facebook page. I thought, yeah, that sounds cool. So let's get a smell on the off the can. Wow, okay. Massive chocolate. Sweet, milky chocolate. And that's in the can. So, I'll go into uh, what's in this in a moment, but yeah, 4.5%. I did see this available recently somewhere online. I can't remember where now. There's a little bit of carbonation in it, but yeah. Jet black in the glass. A one finger, slightly tanned, coloured head. It's getting aroma then from the glass. Wow, that really is quite an intense, sweet chocolate. Slight hints of coffee, caramel, that kind of thing. Yeah, smells absolutely banging. So, these guys are out in North Kent, by the way, west of North Kent. I think it's North Kent. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Wow, that is that beautiful. That is really nice. I mean, yeah, massive chocolatey notes, slight kind of roastness underlying that, touch of coffee, caramel, toffee, there's a sweetness coming through, I don't know if this beer's got um, any kind of like vanilla or vanilla extract or anything like that in it, but definitely, I mean, it's very sweet. Yeah, 4.5% for me, and where I am with with um, sweet stouts these days. I, I personally would want this to be like, I don't know, a, a bigger ABV, a bit more body, but the actual flavour of profile of the beer is really, really tasty, very enjoyable. So a 440ml can, I, d I didn't know that this brewery had actually done any cans, I don't know if they've got any other cans on the market. Let's pull the rest of this beer in then. Really nice looking beer in a glass, creamy looking head, almost mousse like. Let's see what's on the can, there's a really tiny writing on this. Um, I I've had a look for the date, I couldn't find it. Um, so the malts in this are pale ale, pale ale, dextrin, Caramel, uh, naked oats, chocolate, and cafra special free. Uh, the hops are Progress, which is a very similar hop to Fuggles and East Kent Goldings. Um, where was that? Um, this says the aroma of the hop is spicy. Um, so, yeah. Alpha acid, five to seven percent. Beer styles. Oh, um, and then you've got uh, roasted cocoa nibs, chocolate essence, and vanilla essence. So there you go. Um, Western House yeast, four point five percent. But yeah, I'm digging that can. 
I mean, they released it, I believe... Well, the first time I saw it, it was just before Easter. But according to Untapped, it's been around since February the 1st of 2019. Either way, it's been around not very long. Um, so yeah, it's a vegan, gluten-free, triple chocolate stout. Um, any other information there? The ingredients, water, malted barley, hops and yeast, which pretty much <laughs> gone through. Mm, vegan friendly, gluten free, which we've already done. That's it. I'll put all the information down below about the brewery, but yeah, let's get back to this beer. Really nice. It reminds me of a It's got like a, a soft mouth feel. A little bit sharp towards the back end, but generally it's a quite a, it's a really, really chocolatey kind of beer. It reminds me of um, Saltaire's Triple Chocolate Stout. Got that kind of thing going on with it. Um, maybe chocolate waffles. It's got like a, that, that kind of slight savoury edge going on with it. It's, it's a bit like that. Really cracking beer. Um, in terms of rating them for this one, I'm going to give this a pretty decent uh, 7.5 out of 10 I'd say. Um, so a 3.5 on the untapped scale. Over to untapped, um, there's a little bit more um, a commercial description. I'll put all that down below because I don't want it to be a longer review. So if you're interested, it's down below. Um, We've pretty much gone through everything else, um, you know, ingredient-wise. So it's only had 185 total check-ins since the uh, the beginning of February. 39 in the last 30 days. Uh, 162 ratings coming in at 3.81. So there you go. That's, I mean, it's not a lot of ratings, but that's a that's a pretty damn good score, I think. Um, so yeah, 4.5 percent. So if you've had this one. From the Western Brewery, this is their Wally Winkers Death by Chocolate. It's a triple, is it a triple? Yeah, triple chocolate stout coming in at 4.5% ABV. Um, check it out. Really snazzy looking can. Love it. Excellent. Let me know if you've had it. And I'll see you in the next review. Cheers.